All right, as we move into Project 3, I just want to remind you how Project 1 and 2 can uh, really be helpful for what you're doing right here. In other words, um, logos are, are based on symbol and based on expressive type sometimes. So um, here's an example. As we move over to symbol, we can find symbols all the time in logos. Um, in fact, this is probably the prominent way for corporate logos in today's world. The symbol is the most dominant element, so much so that more and more companies are even dropping text altogether. New trend as of mm, 2005, I'd say. Okay, um, but symbols can still be part of the logo in combination with type, so that's perfectly... Uh, doable and sometimes you can take symbols and make a new symbol with the symbols so <laughs> you know you got the seahorse but you're also making the heart so you're implying you know something else about uh, the big island and then uh, going on to expressive type yeah we can find this in logos um, one thing that you do notice is that um, if you use display like all these typefaces are display. They kind of get dated really quickly. These logos look older. They look 90s. They just look outdated. And the reason is um, display typefaces just don't hold their age. They just, they, they're good for a few years and then you have to move on. <coughs> um, here, when you use um, typefaces that are not so much um, display, but more standard, but you might, you know, make a few little changes in there, like the O and the S, or the A and the F here. Um, they have a little more longevity. They can last a little bit longer without looking so dated. Um, all right, other ideas. <clears throat> you can combine symbols and letters. Um, this is not something we've done in assignment, but um, something you can explore where you use the negative space of the letter, for example, to create a symbol. In this case, obviously an H, but you also have, and this is amazing, uh, heaven and hell, halo and horns. <laughs> so there's four H words in there. That's pretty incredible. Usually you only get one word for your one letter. But um, <clears throat> that approach could be something you do for you know, the symbol, you combine it with a letter, or you combine the letters to make a symbol, athletic house, you know, let's see the house, um, business supplies, well, obviously, you know, <laughs> you see the element there. Okay, um, <clears throat> and this can be combined again with, with a combination of um, lettering and symbol. So they don't have to stand by themselves. You can combine letter and symbol and combine that with a word. You know, so I see face here plus the P, um, you know, and I get psych form. I understand what they're talking about. Uh, in exchange, you see the arrows coming together. You see the X at the same time and you see the word. So you can combine all those things if you want to. Um, another approach that I want you to be aware of is you could replace a letter this is normally done with a vowel, but, um, you know, you could, whoops, you could, well, in this case, the I is the number one, um, Dixie, well, not the vowel, but the X is replaced there, the O here, and then, um, and then I want you to just keep exploring because probably the best solution is a combination of all of these ideas. And so as you sketch through these things, you're going to find one approach, second approach, something's going to work, and you're going to be happy with it. So just keep going. Try to combine these things. Um, don't just jump to your first idea and say, oh, I'm going to do this kind of symbol with this kind of lettering. I'm done. Um, really explore all the different possibilities and um, always keep in mind that you want to uh, symbols want to communicate quickly 
But you also want to say something more than just the obvious, if possible. All right. Um, just one last note here, and that is about logos changing over time. Um, normally, when logos first start out, they are a lot more detailed than what they end up being you know, if the company survives over time. And the, the symbol gets simpler and simpler. Um, so this is something to keep in mind if you're... Oh, I'm going to have you aim for this kind of more modern approach. Why? Because I want your portfolio to be a little more modern and be up to date. You know, look better. Um, but you could also keep in mind, well, this is a small company, uh, so it's going to be a little more detailed when it starts out. You know, but uh, I don't know. I would, okay, get as that detailed or maybe this detailed. Uh, yeah. That's about as detailed as I get. Okay, I hope that gives you some ideas and some things to consider. Um, thank you very much.